Gentlemen, so welcome to the desk. Um, today, we'll be bumblefucking around with some of these uh, fancy USB flash drives. So I fucked with two of these. This one is one I had in high school. Um, they come as this little puny 4 gig drive inside of there. Uh, this one's been upgraded to 128. Uh, it lost its wheels years ago. It's... It's okay. I 3D printed a new head for it, so it is protected. Always, always protect the tip. Um, this one is unmolested. You can kind of tell. The only way you can really tell is USB 3 versus USB 2. Um, otherwise, it's pretty normal. I did a pretty good job with this, and I will be showing you how to do that with some of these small wart um, on 128 gig flash drives. You can do this yourself if you want to, or just leave it alone, because these are hard to find nowadays, or very expensive, as were these. This one's fucky anyway. Um, the, the wheel just kind of falls out. Um, I'm going to end up gluing these in pretty nicely, because I don't feel like dealing with that. Um, step one is extracting the initial drive from these, uh, we will not be keeping these in perfect mint collector condition. These will be destroyed. I mean, in terms of monetary value. But in terms of actual usability, you can't even fit windows on a 4 gig stick. So, if you want to use your Tony Hawk skateboard drive, you gotta modify it. Otherwise, it's kind of useless. So, when I finish bumblefucking around with this, which may be never, this may be the entire video right here of me just, I can't get a grip on this. We pull out the bigger ones. Okay, that'll work, that'll do. As long as I don't cut myself with the spudger. As I always would, I would use the big iFixit kit that I got from Best Buy. And I'm currently about to buy a new desk mat from LTTstore.com because my Chinesium one from Habit that I've been rocking for the last long ass time. Um, just not looking great. I do too much computer stuff on it. So it has all these like isopropyl alcohol marks all over it. You really do have to just uh, manhandle the shit out of these to not break both the USB and the the, the fucking, yeah. So next we'll be desecrating the grave of products once gone. And we will be making a big thing fit into where small thing used to go that was it this is what was in it before this is still usable as is i can just plug this in and pull it out no problem because this works fine this will do its thing it's only four gigs so it'll fit like some family photos it'll do it fairly well because this had high school photos on it just fine it doesn't die or lose the files it does the job and that's all it does but i don't care I want to make it do better things, like this one, except this one is like my, my ghetto drive. And if you're wondering what styles of boards I have, it's uh these. I, I, I don't know, bird, bird fucking birdhouse, whatever this is, they're all birdhouse. I, I like Tony Hawk because I was in fucking middle school and high school. And it was like, skateboard man, do cool tricks. And then I sent him a postcard or a letter, a really thoughtful letter as a middle schooler. And what I got back was a printed signature, friggin' generic postcard. Ever since that time, I don't care. Sure, Tony Hawk's cool, man. No one knows. he. No one believes he's actually him. That's the funny. That's the funny Tony Hawk meme. But he sent me a fake signed, 
postcard, and I cannot forgive that. I sent a letter. I cannot forgive that. That is unacceptable. I am hurt emotionally and traumatized for life. Yes, I will squeeze this thing. What you gotta do is get a little crease going, a little minimal damage. Time to break my spudger. There we go. They separate while that's blown out. Let's turn this low. That's too high. Too low. Oh, there's no one between. Okay, this it auto adjusted. We're fine. So, you might be thinking, this is a little wider than the last one, cause it is. Um, so what you gotta do? Take your small ones again. Grab this little thing here. Twist and pull. Twist and pull. And you just. We'll turn the light back off. Oh no, I gotta f f manually fuck us it. Oh, unacceptable. Where's my mouse? Unacceptable. Autofocus. There we go. Come on. There we go. So you see, we took out that little piece. Take out the other side. And then it'll be close to fitting at this point. What you really want to keep here is focus, you fuck. There we go. So this little notch right here and on the other side, there's a little notch there. We'll take out the big piece here in between them. There we go. Come on, there you go, you got this. You got this, buddy. It'll eventually have this. I'm not too close, I know that. You can get the gist of it. Um, you take out this little thing here. This thing will firmly fit in. Just how it's like, just like it's meant to be. And I just want to make sure I get this continuity wise. Same way. Perfect. And then this one fits on. No issue. That's the blue. Put the wheel back on. And you can't even tell that it's different. It lines up just as poorly as it did before. We'll do lights back on now. Ooh, right. We'll do lights back on then. It'll be good. So yeah, it lines up just as poorly as before because the print is not that great. Uh, the black on this side is inside of it. This wheel is poorly staying in. I just opened this out of a box. The brand new box that had missing cardboard pieces. So we will be pushing this off to the side for me to handle later. I have some RC tire glue. Will I be using this? Yes, because it is a good super glue that I use for too much. That shouldn't be that easy to come out. We'll be using just a tiny bit because this shit is potent. Pop it in. Do I care how skateboard trucks go? Absolutely not. Will this stay? Probably. So, that is the essentials on how you upgrade from a 4 gig to a 128 whatever um that will work specifically with these on shitty usbs this one's a different sand disc one i got from also walmart but these on ones work better this is only usb 2 and these are all usb 3 usb 3 is going to be obviously better my girlfriend's finally back on the phone so yeah that's the upgrade uh usb 2 to usb 3 it makes it a lot faster more storage you can actually do something with this has already holding so much better. Um, now I can do my sick tech deck tricks. And it's out of the way now. Here's the other blue one. And they hold together just fine. Uh, I actually think this one, yeah, this one has a tighter fit than this one. 
because I was more careful with the red one than the blue one. But these are completely usable drives now. Uh, these will hold something. They'll be my giveaway drives to friends and family who need storage. Or my girlfriend who wants to put Minecraft saves on her, uh, on her mini flash drive. Um, yeah, that's really it. You just need some brute force and like a few minutes of time. I stretch this video out to 11 minutes just by talking randomly, but that's fine. Autofocus is not going to stop freaking out now, will it? Um, we can precisely measure something if you really want. I know my last tech video was uh, very serious. Um, 32 millimeters. Oh, look, it's oh, oh, negative zero. My last tech video was ever so serious, so this one actually makes sense. Uh, you can put these on a keychain and make them your little friggin' USB drive for your keys. This one's probably going to be that because it's the one I used tire glue to hold the thing together and destroyed with tape as a child and 3D printed the top for. Because I can just 3D print another top, it takes like 20 minutes. But that's all for today.